Today we'll be reviewing the installation of the Liberty Boss using the Wet Upgrade Kit from Mars Biomed. The Mars Upgrade Kit supplies everything needed for a dental practice to upgrade their office to a Liberty Boss. Every Wet Upgrade Kit includes a one and a quarter inch inlet hose with Quick Connects and rubber coupler, a one inch outlet hose with Quick Connects and a three quarter inch thread, a three quarter to one inch bushing, a one and a half inch street elbow, the Liberty Boss, a case of power lines evacuation line cleaner, and two one and a half inch closeout plugs. The tools required for this job is a hacksaw, a 5 16th nut driver, duct tape, and a respirator to protect you from Mercury's gases. Aside from the 50% savings on the amalgam separator costs, the eight chair practice is upgrading to a Liberty Boss because the upper chamber and lower chamber of the HG5 has separated, causing a leak. The first step is to duct tape the filter to the upper chamber. This is to secure the filter in place so it doesn't fall apart during transport. Using the hacksaw, we cut the copper inlet pipe to access the inlet of the HG5. Once the pipe is removed, turn on the suction to drain the water from the old amalgam separator. Use the provided closeout plug to cap the inlet of the old system. Use your 5 16 nut driver to tighten the hose clamp onto the closeout plug. Remove the outlet hose and use the provided 1.5 inch closeout plug to seal the old amalgam separator outlet. Now that the system is sealed, it is safe to remove your mask. If your old amalgam separator is mounted, use a screwdriver to remove the mount. After the old amalgam separator has been sealed and removed, Unthread the old hose from the inlet of the pump. Because the pump has a 1 inch inlet, use the provided 1 inch outlet hose with the provided bushing to increase the thread size. Thread the 1 inch outlet hose into the inlet of the suction pump. Doing a quarter turn counterclockwise will allow the threads to land into the grooves and minimize the chance of cross threading. Thread the pre Teflon tape nipple into the outlet of the Liberty Boss then place it in the location of the mechanic room you feel is best. Choosing the correct location and the angle in which it will rest may take some trial and error. At this moment, nothing is permanent. Because the inlet hose length is the most adjustable, it is best to start with the outlet hose, choosing the best location of the Liberty Boss for the outlet hose, then working from there. Once the final location and angle of approach has been decided, Use the extra length of inlet hose to determine how to connect the inlet pipe from chairs to the inlet of the Liberty Boss. If you are working in a tight space, the provided street elbow can make a cleaner installation by providing a more direct route. This is the course of action we have chosen for this installation. When threading any plastic fittings into the Liberty Boss, it is recommended to first turn counterclockwise to ensure the threads fall into the grooves. Once you feel the threads have fallen into place, you can turn clockwise to tighten the fittings into the Liberty Boss. Our next step is to thread the quick connect nipple into the elbow on the Liberty Boss inlet. Once the nipple is in place, we connect the inlet hose to the Liberty Boss to determine the length needed to connect the Liberty Boss inlet to the inlet pipe from chairs. Occasionally, the quick neck on the hose needs to be adjusted to allow the use of the natural bend of the flex hose. The advantage of having an elbow on the inlet of the Liberty Boss is you can use it to angle it to allow a more gradual approach into the system. If your Liberty Boss is blocking anything in the mechanical room, do not worry. The use of flex hose and quick connects makes the system easy to move. You can use your hacksaw to cut the access hose off the inlet. In this video, we used a different tool. Slide the rubber coupler over the inlet pipe and flexible hose using your 5 16 nut driver to tighten the hose clamps on the rubber coupler. Now you can make any last minute adjustments to the system.
Turn on the suction and use your hands to test for any air loss. Make sure the cotter pins of the Quickenex are in the correct locations, locking the arms in place. The installation of the Mars Liberty Boss in this 8 chair practice took only 15 minutes when using the Mars Upgrade Kit. To upgrade your office, find a trusted Mars distributor near you using our distributor map at www.marsbiomed.com.